so I thought I'd do um, the Q&A for this month and an update video at the same time, like the same audio. Why? Because I'm lazy. That's really the truth. <laughs> I'm actually recording in my car today. Um, it's raining also, so like there's no one to bug me. Um, we're currently having a spring shower moment, meaning it's going to last for like 30 minutes and that's pretty much it. But, um, wow, there's a lot of updates and there's like literally no questions for this month unless I missed them. I probably did miss them. So I thought for the Q&A for uh, this video, I thought that I would ask the questions this time. <laughs> and it's funny, I'm not even answer. I'm not even asking the questions. I just Google questions. But here, um, what is your favorite place to be kissed? I'm going to guess that this question is asking about location, not like the placement of the kiss. So I'm going to say for location, my favorite place to be kissed is probably at home. Um, either, you know, actually I prefer my house, um, my place. That would be my favorite place to be kissed. Um, oh, they did ask the question. And where is your favorite place to kiss someone? Oh, wait. That is so confusing. Whatever. My home for both questions. I don't know. Have you ever sent a N-U-D-E? YouTube, I'm talking about the nude color. Nude color. <laughs> Photograph. Um, no and yes. And maybe let's go off in, on this, okay? <laughs> so, um, basically what's happening is... Did I? I don't even know if I told you guys about the whole Omegle thing that I used to do. I feel like I did mention it, but I don't remember. So I'm going to just say it again. When I was stressed out a couple of years ago, um, I'm pretty sure I did say this. I went on Omegle. I don't remember why. All I remember is that I saw a video, a corn video. Okay, I think we know what corn means this time. Replace the U with the P. <laughs> um, I saw a corn video of a girl on Omegle. And um, there's this car backing up. It's kind of weird. The cars are getting a little bit crazy around here. So if you see me pausing for a long time, it means there is weird activity happening around here. Um, but anyways, there was a girl on Omegle. And she had a pretty face is all I remember really I think there was two girls on Omegle that I was obsessed with I don't remember anymore oh my goodness I don't remember the story anymore okay there was a girl <laughs> I am struggling right now okay there was a girl yeah I think I remember this it was, it was a night video and she was just like on you know she was like a, a girl like a regular girl um, and the guy, oh my goodness, I don't know if the guy showed his part or if it was a black screen. I don't remember. I don't remember anything actually, <laughs> but let me tell you what I remember. I remember she was just talking to him and, um, she didn't know he was filming and he asked her, can you take, you know, your top away? And she said no. And he kept insisting and she did it eventually. And what I remember is that her melons were very beautiful. Like, they were... It, you ever look at a girl and you say, oh, she probably has small melons, and then all of a sudden there are these melons that are huge or, like, you never expected the shape of it. That was her. And I think... He asked her to play with the melons or bounce the melons. I don't remember. See, I don't remember. I just remember her melons were very beautiful. And I got off on that. <laughs> walk of shame, Serena. Walk of shame. So, anyways. I don't remember if I watched this after I started using Omegle or this was before. Like, I don't remember if this video inspired me to go on Omegle or if I was on Omegle and then I decided to watch this video after. I don't remember the sequence of time. Back to me. So I decided to go on Omegle, okay? Because I'm crazy. And I think we know that at this point. 
I'm not that crazy, but I'm crazy enough to do weird stuff that have no logic or doesn't make sense. I went on Omegle and I bought a pink bikini for this specifically. It was these cute, it wasn't bikini, it was like a lingerie kind of thing, but bikini type. So it had like a bra top, it had like a bikini, and it had the um, the guardier, whatever they call that thing you put around your leg. And it had ruffles. So it was like a pink ruffle. It was very girly. And I wore it. And then I would go on Omegle. And um, yeah, like guys would be there. I think we know what guys are doing on Omegle. I don't have to explain that. If you need me to explain it, then um, you clearly um, need to research. <laughs> so uh, there was a guy in great body. And um, he told me, or I told him, I don't remember. See, I don't remember. That's going to be the, the video title. I don't remember. <laughs> um, all I remember is that the top came off. That's all I remember. And did I play with the melons? I don't remember that part either. But I remember he exploded. That's all I remember. <laughs> and when I saw him explode, uh, that just created a passion in me where I just kept doing it. I don't know how many guys exploded. I don't know how long I did it, but I did it for quite some time. I don't remember why I stopped doing it. Um, but yeah, that's what it would be. Like, I did Omegle as a so-and-so cam girl, I guess you could say. Um, did I do more than just show melons? Yes. I um, I didn't show mouth. I don't remember that. But that was like oh, that was like a no, no. They would ask sometimes like, "What is your limit?" Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. But I would say like no mouth. And um, there was only one person I took the bottom off for. One. So that person is very lucky because I don't do that at all anymore. <laughs> I don't even take the top off anymore. So yeah, um, that was my story. So yeah, Omegle was fun to do. I think I was very stressed out. That was really probably why I did it. Um, but yeah, I've always liked seeing guys explode. That's just been my thing. Weird, weird kink, I guess you could say. Um, so... That's really what the inspiration for the Secret Haven stuff came from. Like, I've been getting a lot of messages, like a little bit too much messages. And I'm not ignoring you. It's just I can't be sitting every hour answering messages. So I'm like, okay, maybe every couple of days I'll answer. So updates, right? I am doing the Secret Haven stuff. I just don't know which direction I'm going to. Like, honestly... I started off with just a mic and, you know, cleavage. And the idea was going to be like cute tops with a mic and some story time maybe or like role playing, which I haven't yet to do really. And then it was just like teasers, which some of you guys like. I have no idea what direction Secret Haven is going in. No clue. But I do like the aesthetic of it. I do like doing it in the nighttime. Every video has been shot at night. I like nighttime. And then that runs into some issues that I have. I love the night. I really do. I am not a night owl. I am exhausted. Meaning by 10 p.m. my, my awakeness, my me being alive, I guess, me being awake, start going downhill. I wake up at 7 a.m. for work, which is not too early, actually, right? But I'm exhausted. Like, after work, I can't stay sometimes past 10. Like, maybe, I okay, 12 is my limit. And then 11 is where you really see me going downhill. Like, some of my friends are like, do you want a game around 11? And I'm like, okay, but then I'm really exhausted. 
So something that I do that really helps is I take a nap around like 4 or 5 p.m. And the nap is supposed to be for an hour, but sometimes it can go three hours. And then I can stay up until like 3 a.m. Is it healthy? Probably not. Um, but I haven't been doing it often. So that's the only way I can really stay up. And I've been doing that if I'm gaming with my friends because I do like to have energy when I game. So if I'm gaming with my friends, I take a nap, I wake up, and then I'm awake at night for game night. Otherwise, I just don't have the energy. Um, like, for example, I was playing Sons of the Forest. No, I was playing The Forest. I think like a last year or two years ago with my friends and you would see me like at 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. literally dying of sleep. Um, but I wasn't napping. So napping has been really a good way of doing this, like getting extra hours of being awake. And then I run into an issue. If I nap around 10 p.m. and I say, okay, I'm going to wake up at 12, with two hours of a nap and feel refreshed, it never works out. Like I will literally go to bed and wake up the next day. I have not successfully gone to take a nap at 10 and be like, oh, I'm awake at 12, let's work. Like it has never worked for me. So I have to do like a, like an evening nap. That's the only way I will not wake up the next day. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's where it really sucks. Like, because a lot of the filming I do is nighttime. I need the energy and most of the time I just don't have the energy. So if you ever see me film a video for like Secret Haven stuff or anything and you see me, my voice is very like deep. It means I'm exhausted. Um, and again, it's not me. Like, I think we need to kind of separate like exhaustion for like people who are mentally exhausted and people who are physically exhausted it's a physical exhaustion like I have the energy like me mentally I have the energy I want to do a lot but my body is in some whole different world where it's getting weak like my body needs to toughen up and and stop demanding this amount of sleep but I listen to my body so let's not you know start saying stuff in the comments because I know how you guys are sometimes um but I do listen to my body so I'm tr I'm still trying to figure out how to you know work with this dilemma now because this happens right that means most of the time if you see me like post secret haven stuff I'm filming usually on a Friday or a Saturday because then I can stay up late because it's the weekend and then thing is, I say, like, on Fridays, I don't really want to do anything with ASMR. Like, it's my time on Friday. So most of the time, I just do TikTok videos night on Fridays. So again, like, I'm very limited on what I can do on my days, which sucks. So it means the only thing I could probably do is film during the daytime, which I will try. But it's very noisy during day, so I don't know. Maybe we're going to have to just suck it up and deal with the background noise. So now let's talk about what's really happening then. So Secret Haven stuff has been working very well. Um, I am on Twitter or Patreon. I recently created a different Patreon for Secret Haven stuff. And it's, going, it's been going well on Twitter. Like the Patreon is very new. So if you guys have been liking what you see on Secret Haven and you want more, well, I'm going to be on Patreon. Now, I don't know if Patreon's ever going to evict me, considering that I put some crazy audios on Patreon. So I think they're pretty okay, unlike YouTube, who just takes everyone down. So I will be there on Patreon. Um, I like Twitter. And then this gets me to my next point. I am going to just make audios that I want to do. Like... I don't want to really compromise what I want to do with what the audience wants. I'm not oblivious. Like, that's something I hate with people. I hate it when they act like they're oblivious. I'm not naive. I'm not oblivious. I know most of my followers prefer the NSFW stuff. And that's nothing, you know, terribly wrong with me. I think like 80% of you prefer that. Maybe 85%. 
And then there's like 15% of you or 20% of you who don't mind the, the life stuff. Like me just being me, me talking, me having a human personality, me not being obsessed with, you know, SMEX <laughs> or my desires, whatever. And um, I could really just say whatever with the whole being me, being human stuff and just go directly in that path of NSFW. But I'm not there yet. Like maybe, maybe my soul will be compromised in the future. I will be taken by who knows what entity, 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 entity whatever. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. So you're going to have to just be patient. Um, next part, people have been asking for customs. I do uh, custom audios on Patreon for the audios, for the audio Patreon. Um, and that goes with your tier. Now, a lot of you want like Secret Haven custom stuff. And I'm willing to do that too as well. I'm going to create a form for that. Like a Google form. It's coming out soon. I'll post it when it's ready. But that is probably going to be something that I'm going to do custom. So if you want to do it like every month. Or you want to do like twi two audios per month. That's fine. The problem is. I would need to approve it before you want to purchase. So some things I'm not doing currently right now, I'm not doing nudes. <laughs> um, YouTube, I'm talking about the color nude. Okay, I'm not doing that um, for now. For now, okay? I, like, I'm not sure if that's something I want to do in the future. I'm just not sure yet. Like, I don't want to be a hypocrite and say, I'm not going to do it at all. And the next thing you know, in two months, I do it. So right now, it's a no. But it could change. I don't see it changing, though, if I have to be honest. But then again, I never understand myself, so it could change. Um, and then, oh, actually, this is a good Q&A I want to answer. Someone has been asking about um, the idea of being faceless. And I don't know where this question came from. Like, I don't remember what the question exactly was, but I don't even remember the question, to be honest. But I'm going to just talk about being faceless. So some people have been saying, like, you should be faceless if you're doing this type of content. And if you guys know my other social media or where I've been besides Serena, you would know that I'm not faceless. At the same time, <laughs> I don't go with uh, red contacts daily outside because I will scare people. I would love to do that, but that's something I don't do. It's uncomfortable. So the reason why I'm not faceless is because I like doing aesthetic stuff. Like I like makeovers I like um you know I like playing around with outfits like makeup hair I love all that stuff I love all, I love beauty so that's one reason why I'm not faceless and um two I think we've seen what happened with faceless people like people want to know who you are desperately and um it's hard to hide stuff you know so I'm not really planning to hide stuff that makes any sense like that's not my thing so I have two things right I have Serena which I keep faceless at the same time it's like if you want to know who I am you have my other social media accounts which you can figure out who I am if that makes any sense now something that I guess you can say both social medias kind of lack is the personality part like oh day in my life or this kind of stuff like that's where the audios kind of make up for it so if you feel like you know I should be faceless well Serena's faceless for now at least but 
I do have other accounts that are not. At the same time, they're my makeover accounts, so... At least there's a face there, I guess. I don't know what to say, really. But yeah, that's one question I've been getting. I think it's really preference, you know? Some people are... Go ahead and show their face, and some people just don't want to show their faces. I think we should really respect that. Um, and honestly... Sometimes you don't even need a face. <laughs> I can get off on just audio sometimes, sometimes just body, sometimes hand movements. If you guys didn't know, I'm into um, corn with dolls, which is uh, like using your little flashlight thingy. I can't say the word. I don't know if YouTube's going to get me for that. But I like, I like that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. I mean, until dolls become the same situation, like in Detroit becomes human. <laughs> and then, of course, I would, you know, say it's not right at that point. But I think it's to each and everyone's own experience. I really can't say much for, you know, for you. You know what you like. You know what you don't like. And I know, I understand there are dangers out there. I get that. But um, I think I'm pretty okay where where I am. So you don't have to worry about me so much. Um, so yeah, the next issue is um, because Secret Haven requires me to post videos. And I kid you not, like finding a home, that's the issue actually. Not faceless or, you know, being showing your face. It's like the the laws and who knows what laws or websites that say no to everything that's NSFW. Like that's been the struggle. So I've been using a site. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Is it Vimo? Sound like Venmo actually. <laughs> Does anyone catch that on? And it looks like the same colors, right? I think. Whatever. Maybe it's the same people. Who knows? It's V-I-M-E-O. V-M-O. V female I don't know whatever so I've been using that because they have a partnership with Patreon so if you want to upload videos you have to use theirs the problem is it's um it's a pay service thingy meaning like it's not like YouTube where you can upload videos and they don't charge you unless you want to you know increase your membership it's literally, if you want to use their service, the free option is you get three videos per the whole year, which sucks, right? And then they have their plan, but of course, if you do something with a plan and you get it per year, so annually, in comparison to monthly, you get a discount. So their annual plan is you can do $12 a month for a whole year, so it costs $144 in case you didn't know what 12 times 12 is, which I don't know why you wouldn't unless you, you know... How was it called? Dyschoolia? I think that's what it's called. Or you don't know how to use a calculator. But otherwise, it's $144 per month for me to upload 60 videos, which I find insane, I guess, because I know my workflow is very, very fast paced. So this wouldn't be the best plan for me. So I do have a Throne website for any of you who are feeling very, very generous and helping me cover these membership costs, which sucks, right? Um, and then I also put on my Throne if you want to help me with outfits because clothes cost money, obviously. Um, but that's pretty much it. I do have a job of my own, so I'm not so greedy for money. But everyone loves money, so who's complaining here, right? Like I said, I'm not going to be like a hypocrite and say, oh, I need this, this, and this when I have a job. But at the same time, it's like, if you do want to contribute, because a lot of people have been asking how they can help, there is a way. Um, even just signing up for the Patreon on Secret Haven, that also helps out. So, yeah, I'm trying to raise $144 so I can cover that one-year membership. So far, I covered the first month. So thank you for all of you who signed up for Patreon on the first day because you covered my monthly membership. And then so the next membership option is going to be $20 a month for 
120 videos, I think. I don't remember. And that's the membership I want to do, but it's $20 a month. So we wouldn't need that money. But otherwise, I'm going to stick with the 12 per month for now. And then until I run out of 60 videos to do, I will upgrade my membership. And it's not like, you know, that sucks, right? I, I mean, if you're using a service, I feel like they should be paid also. So I understand why they charge that fee. Videos are a little bit harder to deal with. But otherwise, yeah, the Secret Haven stuff is going well. And then my last point, and this is a very long audio, so hopefully you enjoy hearing me talk. I have been saying to myself, um, actually two more points I have to talk about, so let's get this point out of the way first. I've been saying to myself, try not to compromise time that you want to use for yourself. So something I've been wanting to do for the longest time, and I explained it in my other channel, which I will link or post somewhere. I have a gaming channel that is in the state of where Secret Haven was when it first started. Like I have an idea of what I want to do. I just don't know what I want to do. So like first I thought, okay, let me just game and film. Um, and you're going to only hear me clicking and what games I want to play. And like no talking. And I've been seeing that. I've been seeing a lot of like titles where they say no talking or just, you know, ASMR or whatever. And honestly, I don't want to be in one category. So if I feel like talking, I will talk. If I don't feel like talking, I'm not going to talk. That's really the truth. So I started playing around with filming. And I feel like I've gotten it to work for me. Like I've gotten a good pace. I just hook up my tripod. And that's it. I just film. So it's been pretty easy, actually. So I'm going to continue with it because I like doing that. So if you guys want to see what I'm going to be gaming or, you know, just hear me be chatty for that 15 or 20 percent that I was talking about, um, definitely check that out. It's a very beginning work in progress kind of uh, channel. But I found the aesthetic. I found what I like. And you're going to see me gaming in three places. I'm going to be gaming either on my desk, on my chair, or on, um, sorry, my couch, my single armchair, whatever they call it, or in my bed. And I really put an intro video in there to talk about why gaming is important to me or how did I start off with gaming, really. So you can check that video out. And then there is one more point that I want to talk about, but I forgot. I'm going to pause the audio so I can think about what the last point was. Okay, I remembered. So YouTube is doing this thing where... Sorry, my neighbor's window is moving and it's distracting me. If you are like on their warning list, meaning you get a strike or if you get a warning, they kind of... um, What's the word called? They kind of shadow ban you. So, for example, my main channel right now has a strike that is active. I forgot when it's going to expire, but whatever. And I can tell that they're not probably recommending or they're not showing videos or my channel to other people. So reaching new followers has been kind of tricky on the main channel, right? So then I have a second channel. Um, and that has been getting more attention. Not so much because they did get a warning also. So I think there's something with warnings and strikes that really affect your engagement. With YouTube, it's kind of like they say, oh, you've been bad. So now you deserve to be bad. Like, like you've been bad. So you deserve a long-term punishment. Like, I'm in jail, basically. <laughs> um, sorry, my mom texted me, so give me one second. But I said, okay, so I've noticed this happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a... I don't even know how many channels I have at this point. But like a third ASMR channel that's all over the place. 
just to see how engagement's gonna be on that one. Because I want to see if it's true what YouTube is doing. Because I feel like YouTube is definitely affecting engagement somehow due to the strikes um, and warnings. So it's gonna be kind of like an experimentation, but I'm gonna kind of use it as a channel in case my other two channels get, you know, banned or who knows what. Overall, though, I know what I say or what I'm going to be doing sounds like a lot. It sounds like, you know, like I'm overworking. It sounds like I'm doing too much. So that's where some things are going to come into play. So I want to go back into music also. I've been going back into music, actually. I use Wednesday as my recording day for music. So every Wednesday I record. Like I don't do anything ASMR. And I think that's something I need to do. Like I tell my family, we have an issue where we are very impatient and we love to work. Like that's something with my family. We love to just work, 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 work. And we just have no limit. And we need to learn how to develop. It's not an easy thing to develop, honestly. So basically, like how I've been treating myself on Fridays. I'm like, Fridays, no ASMR. I'm like, you cannot record. You cannot record, Serena. And I don't record, even though I'm so tempted. I, I'm like, I want to record. I want to record. No, you cannot record on Fridays. <laughs> so now it's been, no, you cannot record ASMR audios on Wednesday. You must record vocals on Wednesday. And this has been working out, but it's been hard. It's like when you crave something and you can't control yourself, that's exactly where I'm headed. So I'm thinking of cutting down recordings to just maybe twice a week. Um, especially now that I'm going to have a gaming part, right? Like a gaming channel. And I like gaming. Gaming is something I can do every single day. Like I can just hook up my camera on a tripod and game and record. The editing part, the posts, is where it takes time, right? So I can say maybe on Thursdays I'm doing, you know, editing for the gaming channel. Like I got to figure out my schedule. So there are seven days, right? Clearly two of these days we already said one is my free day, one is for vocal recording. So now I'm left with five days. I like to use Saturdays for homework, but my semester is almost ending soon. Like I only have a couple of weeks left and I'm graduating. So after that, Saturdays will be free for me too. So if you haven't seen me posting on Saturdays because most of the time I'm drowning in homework on Saturdays. So we only have four days left. So if I pick two out of those four days, I have two days left and then one day can be for gaming. So I would have two days a week that are my breaks, which makes sense because you have weekends which are usually your break days unless you work on the weekends so we'll see um we'll see that's all I can say we'll see because <laughs> I don't know but something I want to do is definitely start saying to myself you need to put limits and restrictions I know it's very difficult for me to do but I need to figure out some way of putting a restriction with that being said my next audio will be coming out on Saturday because I am not going to be recording this Thursday and Friday. I'm going to be enjoying those two days for myself. And I will see you guys back on Saturday. So yeah, also, there's a lot of comments I haven't replied to. I will reply to you guys. Just give me some time. And I thank you all for being patient with me. And I like where we're headed. So yeah, you're always feeling you're always feeling. I can't speak because I'm tired now. I think I talked for like, what, more than 30 minutes at this point. You're always welcome to leave me a message somewhere. And if I don't reply within 24 hours, don't worry. I probably did see it. Sometimes I just don't have the brain power to reply. And that's the honest truth. I do, I do read and see all my messages. It's just getting the energy and brain power and just sitting down to reply can be a lot on me too sometimes especially now that you know there's more followers the audience are growing so I'm not going to change so just be patient that's all I'm going to say patience is what we all need and control your limits <laughs> but yeah I will see you soon <laughs>